Time for an updated Stephen King collection. Let's get started. Alright guys, welcome back to my channel. I am Zach with Zach's Books, and today I've got for you a Stephen King updated collection. Uh, behind me are all my fictional Stephen King books. In front of me, behind you guys, is my non-fictional Stephen King work. And in total, I've got over 400 Stephen King books. Yes, you heard that correctly, over 400 Stephen King books. His books have been something I've been collecting for a long time now. He is my all-time favorite author, and I love all of his works that I've read so far, except for maybe a couple of them. But check out my Goodreads for all the reviews on these books. Because I, going through these, I'm probably not going to remember the star rating off the top of my head. So please check out my Goodreads down below to get the actual star rating. Earlier books I read, I did not really review them. I just kind of gave them ratings. So don't go hunting for big reviews on like The Long Walk or Carrie or like one of the older books that I read. So, but yeah, we're going to get this thing started. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe for more content like this. And uh, yeah, let's, let's get into this. Alright guys, so what I'm going to be doing is I'm going to be telling you the total amount of books of each one I have. So like for instance, if I say I've got 13 of this book and you happen to notice there's only like 9 on the shelf, that's because on the other shelf I've got like special editions, combined editions where there's like 3 novels in one, or just specialty looking books. Uh, they're going to be on the other shelf. And I'm going to show you that after I go through this whole thing. So that's why if you happen to look and you're like, hey, he's only got eight of those. It's because it's over there. The first book up is, we're going to be going in chronological order. So the first book I have is Carrie. And I've got 12 copies of this book. My favorite one I have is this first edition Signet uh, paperback that I found at a Half Price Books. And uh, I read this book, pretty sure I gave it four stars. Again, like I said earlier, take a look at my Goodreads for star ratings, because uh, odds are I'm going through these, I'm probably going to forget them. But Carrie, the paperback, is my favorite cover that I have for this book. Next up is the second book he wrote, which is Salem's Lot. I have owned ten copies of this book, and my favorite edition is the hardcover, the first edition uh, I don't know if it's an exact first edition, first print, but it's the first cover. I did read this as well, and I'm pretty sure, again, I gave it four stars. I also have got uh, the Salem Slot shirt on. So, yeah, Salem Slot. Next up is The Shining. I own ten copies of this book, and my favorite edition is going to be the hardcover one. Uh, I did read this as well, and I gave it five stars. This is number two on my top Stephen King books I've read of all time so far, and I absolutely love this. So yeah, the hardcover edition, my favorite, Shine. Next is Night Shift. I've got 12 copies of these, and my favorite cover has got to be this one with the scarecrows on the front. This is a hotter edition, and I think it looks really cool. Uh, this is another short story collection. There's a bunch of them. I've heard a lot of good things about this one just haven't read it yet. Um, I am planning to do this in a video at some point, um, but I don't know when I'm going to do that. So there you have Night Shift. All right, the next one up is gonna be the cut version of The Stand. I have four copies of this one, including two of the hardcover editions, which are really hard to find these days. Uh, I have read the uncut version, which is uh, coming up later. I did not read this one, there's no audio for it, and it is a bit different than the other version. So this is something I'm going to read, like, full-on, hands-on, purely reading, no audio. Um, but I did really enjoy the uncut, but I'll talk about that one later. But yeah, the cut version of The Stand, Stephen King. Next up is The Long Walk, which he actually wrote as Richard Bachman. And my favorite cover is going to be this... This mass market paperback of the uh, skulls and stuff, I really like this book. I gave this thing five stars. It's number five on my all-time favorite Stephen King books. This is the first Bachman book I'm showing you because I do not own a hard copy of Rage, uh, which he actually wrote before this one, but I do not have a copy of that, so that one is a goose egg. But this one, two copies, and this is my favorite uh, edition of it. 
Next up is the Dead Zone. My favorite cover is this hardcover. Uh, this is an original cover. I do not have any rating or review for this book because I am yet to read it. I really want to get to it soon, but I have not read it yet. And I also own six copies of this book. So, The Dead Zone. Next up is Firestarter. I own seven copies of this. And my favorite cover is this Signet paperback. I think the cover looks really sweet. This is one that I did read and I'm pretty sure I gave it four stars. Again, look at the Goodreads. It's got all my ratings on it. Um, but yeah, Firestarter. The next one up is another Richard Bachman book and that is Roadwork. Uh, this is my favorite edition I have. It's very similar to the Long Walk one I have. Uh, I really enjoyed this book as well. A lot of people don't talk about it as much. Um, I think I gave it three and a half stars, maybe four. But yeah, this is my favorite edition I have, Roadwork. Next up on the list is Cujo. I own seven copies of this one. And my favorite edition I have is this Signet version that is also kind of like a movie tie-in, I think. Um, I really like that cover with the farmhouse, the fence. This is a book I did read. I also did a reading vlog on it. And I want to say I gave this five stars. Book I actually really enjoyed. Really good book. Cujo. Next up is my third Bachman book, and that is The Running Man. This is, again, following suit with the other two Bachmans I have so far. This cover is really cool. I did read this one, and I'm pretty sure I gave it three stars. It was not my favorite, but also not the worst. But yeah, I really enjoyed this book, and that is The Running Man. The next one up is The Gunslinger. I have seven copies of these. As you can see, I've also got the original set down here in the bottom, and it's hard for me to pick my favorite cover with these because literally all the original hardcovers would probably be my favorite out of the Gunslinger series. So I'm not going to pick these ones because they're all going to be my favorite. Instead, I'm going to show you my second place for the Dark Tower series. And in second place for the Gunslinger series is the original Signet, which has got a little bend in the corner. I read the whole series. I love the whole series. I think I gave Gunslinger four stars. I really enjoyed this book, The Gunslinger. Next up is Different Seasons. I have 13 copies of this book, and my favorite has got to be this paperback edition where it's got the boys from Stand By Me on it, or The Body. Uh, I really enjoyed this collection. I did read it. Overall, I think it was like four and a half stars. The only one that was not as good to me was Apt Pupil. Again, check out my Goodreads, but again, different seasons. Next up is Christine. I've got eight copies of this, and my favorite one is going to be this Signet paperback, which kind of looks strikingly similar to the hardcover, but I really like this version of it. I did read this book. I gave it five stars. It is set number six in my top ten Stephen King books of all time, like I mentioned with The Long Walk earlier. Uh, but I really love this book, and I highly recommend it. Christine. Next up is Pet Cemetery. I've got 11 copies of this, and my favorite edition is going to be the original hardcover edition. This cover just looks really sick to me, and I really love it. Uh, I did read this one, five stars. It's sitting at number three on my all-time favorite Stephen King books. And there you have Pet Cemetery. Next up is Cycle the Werewolf. I own two paperback editions of these. Uh, you can probably hardly see them, so I'll pull both of them out. And this is a book that I actually have not read yet, and because of how short it is, I'm actually surprised I haven't. Just never really found the time to read it. Um, so... No rating on this. I can't wait to read it though. Cycle the Werewolf. Next up is The Talisman, which he co-wrote with Peter Straub. I've got five editions of these, and my favorite is going to be this Gallery Books paperback edition. A book I have not read yet. It is on the thicker side, but it is. it also goes along with Black House. I just haven't read it yet. I really want to though. And there you have The Talisman. Next up is The Eyes of the Dragon. I have seven copies of these. And I gotta say my favorite cover is this one that we just happened to find at Half Price Books recently. Uh, I think it's the UK edition, and it looks really sick. I did read this one. A lot of people call this his YA book, and a lot of people actually don't like it. But I actually found it interesting, and I think I gave it three and a half stars, maybe four. I don't think it was that high, but I gave it a solid rating, and I actually really enjoyed the story. So, The Eyes of the Dragon. Next up is another Richard Bachman, Thinner. I've got six copies of these, and my favorite has got to be the Signet 
which kind of goes similar to the hardcover version of it. I did read this. This is actually one of my top three Richard Bachman books I've read. Uh, I'm pretty sure I gave it four stars, uh, maybe even four and a half. Uh, I don't remember again. Go to Goodreads. Um, but I really enjoyed this book. Yeah, not much else to say about it. Thinner. Next up is a collection of the Bachman books. Uh, I've got five editions of these. And my favorite has got to be this Signet paperback with like the skulls in the background and everything going down the road. I have got five editions of these. I really like all three books I've read in them. The only one I have not read is Rage, and I really want to read it. This is the only way that I can actually find an edition that's within the price range I have to own a copy of Rage. So I've got four copies of Rage, technically, but they're all in the Bachman books. The newer edition, which is the hotter one, uh, does not have Rage in it anymore because it's out of print, obviously. Um, but yeah, that is uh, the Bachman books. Next up is another short story collection, and that is Skeleton Crew. I have got six copies of this, and my favorite is going to be the Signet paperback with the clapping monkey on the top. I've read three stories out of this, The Mist, The Monkey, and The Raft. Loved all three of them. The other, I think there's another like 12 or 13 stories in here. I have not read those yet, but I really want to get to them. So I don't really have a star rating yet, but I'll get to it eventually. That is Skeleton Crew. Next up is I think the book I have the most copies of, and that is It at 14. It might be tied with another one. Um, but I have read this book, five stars. It's number one on my all-time favorite Stephen King books. And my favorite edition is the original hardcover edition. I just really love this cover. It's sick. Um, again, love this book, five stars, and that is It. Next up is the second book in the Dark Tower series, and that is The Drawing of the Three. I own eight copies of this one, and again, besides the original hardcover, my favorite cover is this paperback, Signet. Uh, again, another book I loved. It's in my top ten Stephen King books of all time. Uh, this is my favorite Dark Tower book, um, and then the next one he wrote, Wastelands, is number two, which we'll get to that in a minute. Um, but The Drawing of the Three, love this book. Next up is Misery. I have read this one and I've got eight copies of it. My favorite is the Signet paperback, which is similar to the original hardcover. Uh, I gave this one, I think, four stars, four and a half stars. Um, really enjoyed this book. It's a solid story. And there you have Misery. Next up is The Tommyknockers. I own eight copies of this book. It's one that I have not read yet. My favorite cover is the hotter edition, which is again the UK versions. Uh, I just really love the green sky in this one. It looks really cool. So I can't wait to read this one. Uh, that's the Tommy Knockers. Next up is the Dark Half. I own six copies of these. I did start this book, but I have not finished it. And my favorite edition is going to be this green one here. Uh, it's an all green cover, back, everything. Looks really cool. Uh, so far I'm enjoying it. But, uh, yeah, that's the dark half. Next up is The Stand, the complete and uncut edition. My favorite cover is the hardcover, but that's because I'm not going to show you that one because it looks exactly like the cut version. So my all-time favorite cover for this guy is going to be the Signet one of the guy riding the horse, and it just looks really cool. I did read this one. I gave it five stars. It just barely sits it out of my top ten Stephen King books. It's a really thick book. It's the longest book I've ever read. So, there you have The Stand, Complete and Uncut. Next up is The Dark Tower, Book 3, The Wastelands. I own nine copies of this one. And again, my favorite edition is the original hardcover. But I'm going to show you the one that comes in second place, which is the Signet version. One of the Signet versions. i got a couple of them. But I really enjoyed this book as well. Also got five stars. Second favorite Dark Tower book. And, uh, yeah, there you have Wastelands. Next up is Four Past Midnight, which is another collection of novellas. I've got six copies of this. My favorite one I could not fit onto the first three over here. It's on the second three over there, so I grabbed it from over there. And that is this Signet version here. I've read two out of the four stories in this, and so far I am loving it. Uh, I still have to read Secret Window, Secret Garden, and The Library Policeman. So there you have Four Past Midnight. Next up is Needful Things. I've got four copies of this. have not read this book yet. My favorite edition has got to be the gallery book, 
paperback edition. This is another thicker book. Uh, it also has got some slight connections with the Dark Tower series, and that's another reason why I want to get to it. Obviously, I want to read all of them. But Needful Things, book I have not read yet, but really want to. Next up, we have Gerald's Game. I have five copies of these. And my favorite cover has got to be the hardcover one. I have not read this story. I've heard a lot of people who don't like it. It's solely because it's like one perspective, one room, one person tied to a bed, handcuffed to a bed. Um, but a whole bunch of weird shit does happen in this. And so I am excited to read it. Um, just to make sure reviews are just kind of throwing me off. But obviously with it being by Stephen King, I will be reading it eventually. And there you have Gerald's Cam. Next up is Dolores Claiborne. I have four copies of this. And my favorite has got to be the original hardcover where you see Dolores kind of looking down the well. I have read this one. I gave it four stars. And this was also one I did a reading vlog on. It's not one of his more like horrific books. It's more of like a thriller, supernatural kind of thing. Um, but I really enjoyed it. And uh, it's uh, Dolores Claiborne. Next up is Nightmares and Dreamscapes. I've got six copies of this. Another one I have not read yet, and it is a short story collection. It's got like 13 or 14 collections in it. My favorite is the original hardcover with the scarecrow just kind of chilling in the middle of the road. It's a book that is also really thick, and I also really want to get to it because I hear mixed things about it. So there you have Nightmares and Dreamscapes. Next, we have Insomnia. I have five copies of this book. I did start this book last year in January. I just have not put forth the effort to try and pick it back up and read it. Odds are at this point I'm probably going to need to restart the book, but whatever. My favorite cover I have is the Signet uh, paperback version, where it kind of looks like the Invisible Man's just kind of chilling on a bench. So, otherwise I can't wait to get back into this, and there you have Insomnia. Next up is Rose Manor. I've got five editions of those. Uh, they're on the other shelf over here, but my favorite edition is this hardcover. Um, I do not have the, I have not read this book yet. Um, by what I understand, it's like some kind of weird mystical picture. Some lady steps in it, and a bunch of weird crap starts happening. So hopefully I can get to it, but otherwise, this is Rose Matter. Next up on the shelf, there are some books I have talked about and some I have not yet. Um, but it is my Dark Tower collection of the original hardcovers and a good chunk of the paperbacks I have here. I also own a copy of Charlie the Choo Choo, which is mentioned in The Wastelands. Uh, it's a very interesting book. It's a children's book. Um, I also have got some cool collectibles. I've got a turtle in reference to one of the big universe turtles that are mentioned in the book, as well as like it, like Pennywise's big nemesis. Um, I got Rolling the Gunslinger. And then over on this side, I've got The Man in Black, and then I've got four concordances. I've got volume one, volume two, and then the complete, and then the new complete, which came out after Glint Through the Keyhole. Next up is the Green Mile. I've got 10 editions of these, and my favorite one has gotta be this one, which is the other, it's a UK edition. Honestly, all these covers for the Green Mile are really cool looking, and it's really hard to kind of pick my favorite, but if I really had to, I'd have to go with this one. This is another book that ended up being in my top five after I reread it. Can I pet number four? So there you have the Green Mile. Next up, I'm gonna be kind of doing a two for one. I've got Desperation, which I've got seven copies of, and then I have The Regulators, which I have five copies of. Uh, I loved both of these books separately. Ex well, I didn't love both of them. Desperation was really solid. The Regulators, I need to reread it because I struggled through it the first time because I had no idea of what was going on. And then I read Desperation and got a better understanding of what The Regulators was. Um, the reason why I'm doing both of them is because both the covers together make a solid picture. So even though Desperation was written first, it actually goes second in this uh, little collab picture you get after Regulators. But I did really think this uh, cover concept is really cool because it is kind of like one continuous story. Um, but yeah, there you have uh, The Desperation and uh, The Regulators by Richard Bachman. Next up is Wizard and Glass, which is the Dark Tower book four. Uh, this is actually one of my least favorite Dark Tower books because it's a giant book that is basically Roland's backstory. I thought it was misplaced, my opinion. Yours could be different. My favorite, again, the original hardcover like I showed you. But I will say that this paperback I found 
is actually a really solid contender for being a favorite cover of mine for Wizard and Glass. It's just a really cool find. I found at uh, Half Price Books. So there you have Wizard and Glass. Next up is Bag of Bones. I've got six copies of this. I have not read this one yet. And my favorite edition is this hardcover. I don't really remember what this book is about 100%, but I hear good things about it. But I do need to read it. And that's uh, Bag of Bones. Next up, we're now down to shelf number four, so I'm going to be kind of squatting for the next couple of rows here. Uh, I've got The Girl Who Loved Tom Gordon, which I've got three editions of. And my favorite is going to be this older looking paperback, which I got from my dad. So thank you for this edition. I did read this. Uh, I think I gave it three and a half, maybe four stars. But it is a book I actually enjoyed, and it is on the shorter side. So there you have The Girl Who Loved Tom Gordon. Next up is The Storm of the Century. I've got two editions of these. It's the same cover for both of them. It is a screenplay. It's not an actual novel. Um, I have not read this yet because uh, I'm trying to figure out how I'm going to do this. I did watch the TV miniseries that's like six hours long. And if it's anything like that, it should be a good read and I can't wait to get to it. And there you have The Storm of the Century. Next up is Hearts in Atlantis. I've got five copies of these. And my favorite has got to be this uh, paperback uh, by Scribner. I have not read this one yet. I need to. One of my friends at work keeps telling me I need to read it, and I have not yet. But one day I will. And uh, there you have Hearts in Atlantis. Next up is Dreamcatcher. I've got seven editions of these, and I have read this one recently. And I think I gave it four and a half stars. Uh, a lot of people hate this book, and I actually thought it was pretty cool. Uh, my favorite edition is got to be the hardcover. I mean, this cover just looks really cool. It looks really gorgeous. It's a pretty looking cover. Again, it's a book I enjoyed and a lot of people hate. So there you have Dreamcatcher. Next up is Black House. I've got five editions of these. This is the sequel to The Talisman, which he wrote with Peter Straub. He also wrote this one with Peter Straub. And my favorite edition has got to be, just like the other one, the Gallery Books paperback edition. Uh, this is a book I do need to read because apparently it's got really solid connections with the Dark Tower series. So after I read The Talisman, this will be up next after that. Uh, but I don't know when that's going to be. But there you have Black House. Next up is From a Buick 8. I've got three editions of these. I have read this book and I thought it was actually a pretty solid book. My favorite edition is the hardcover edition. Uh, the Buick looks really cool. And when you actually turn it over, it turns into a cop car. So it's kind of like... I think it looks pretty cool. Um, I think I gave it four stars. Might have been three and a half. Again, look at my Goodreads. Um, but there you have From a Buick 8. Next one up is Everything's Eventual. I've got three copies of this. And my favorite edition is going to have to be this paperback one. I mean, I only had three copies to pick from. And this one and the hardcover are the exact same. And the other paperback I have just really... Isn't that pretty to me? I have not read this one. I think it's another collection of short stories. Um, I will have to read this. Uh, yeah, 14 Dark Tales. So yes, there you go, right on the cover. There you have Everything's Eventual. Next up is The Wolves of the Kala, which is the Dark Tower Book 5. I've got six editions of this one. And I gotta say my favorite is this new one I just recently picked up. I think that looks pretty nifty. I, I mean, the original hardcover is my favorite, but again, I'm leaning away from picking those, so... Next in line is this uh, cool-looking uh, paperback edition I got. I have read this. It was a good story, and it's in my top... I think it's number four or five for my Dark Tower books of favorites of all time, so... There you have The Wolves of the Kala. Next up is The Song of Susanna, which is the Dark Tower book six. My favorite edition has got to be this pocketbook edition. I just recently started getting these ones, and what's really nifty about these is it creates one giant picture between books uh, 5, 6, 7, and went through the keyhole, and then books 1, 2, 3, and 4 make one big picture going across the front, um, which I think is a pretty cool idea. But this one, uh, Song of Susanna, it's a really solid book. I did enjoy it, and uh, this is Dark Tower Book 6. Next up is The Dark Tower, Book 7, The Dark Tower. I've got five editions of these. And my favorite one has got to be this paperback. It looks the exact same as the hardcovers, but I just really hate the smaller Signet one I have. So there you have it. This is my favorite cover. Um, I did not... <sighs> There's a few things in this book I didn't like. I did a full vlog on this book. 
go check that out if you have not yet. But I just, there's some things in this book I did not like. Overall, solid series, and there's still one more Dark Tower book to get into later. But there you have the Dark Tower Book 7, The Dark Tower. Next up is The Colorado Kid, which is a hard case crime book. This is the only one I've read that is the hard case crime book, and by golly, if it wasn't for Stephen King writing two more, this would be the last one I would read. Um, but he does have two more. One is coming out this year, actually. Uh, it's called Later, so that's not in my collection yet, but come March, you'll see it. Um, but yeah, this book uh, is a book, I'll say that much. There you have The Colorado Kid. Next up is Cell. I've got four editions of these. And my favorite is the original hardcover. And this is a book I have not read yet. I'm excited to get to it though because a lot of people don't like it. And there are some who just really don't want to read it just because they hear bad things about it. And I obviously want to read all of King. So I'm going to have to put up with it and give it a read. And there you have Cell. Next up is Lizzie's Story. I've got three copies of this. My favorite is going to be this paperback with the shovel and the snow. I mean it just looks pretty cool. Uh, this is a book I have not read yet, uh, but I want to. I hear it's about a woman whose husband died, and the husband was a writer, and she goes through like his chest up in the attic, and a whole bunch of weird shit starts happening. So, pretty excited about this one. Can't wait to get to it. There you have Lissy's story. Next up is Blaze, which is the last Richard Bachman book there is. And I love this edition. It's the best. I did read this, and I think I gave it three and a half stars. Again, look at my Goodreads. It's a pretty cool story. It's uh, it's kind of, it's not, it's his take on, like, Of Mice and Men, I would say, where you have a smaller, smarter guy and a bigger, dumber guy, and the whole bunch of weird stuff happens in this book. I actually kind of enjoyed it, and there's actually a few people who actually really didn't. So, again, my opinion, other people's opinions. But there you have Blaze. Next up is Duma Key. I've got four copies of this one, a book I have not read yet. My favorite is this edition we found recently. I think that cover looks sick. It's another hotter edition, uh, but I don't know if it's the hotter edition I would have ordered from uh, online if I did get this, so that edition is still to come. But uh, it's another book I haven't read. Can't wait to get to it because I hear plenty of good things about it, so there you have Duma Key. Next up is Just After Sunset. I've got three editions of this book. It's another short story collection. I have not read this one. Uh, my favorite edition, or my fa yeah, my favorite edition has got to be this paperback, where it's got the black cat in the background. I, I don't really know what stories are in this. I don't remember, but uh, it's a book I'm excited to read. And uh, there you have Just After Sunset. Next up is Under the Dome. I've got five copies of this book. As you can see, it's a really thick book. I started it, did not finish it, but I'm hoping to finish it this year. My favorite edition has got to be this paperback one. Uh, I just love the yellowing of it. It looks really cool, and I can't wait to read this book because a lot of people really enjoy this book. So a lot of people say the ending's a little weird, but it's Stephen King. And there you have Under the Dome. Next up is Full Dark No Stars. I have read this collection, and I thought it was a pretty solid collection. Uh, my favorite edition is going to be the paperback one. Again, it is an edition I read. I don't remember what I rated the whole thing, um, but it did have some solid stories. I think it was 1922, Big Driver, um, there's two other ones. I can't remember what they were called, though. Uh, but I did like the collection. And there you have Full Dark No Stars. Next up is 112263. I have three copies of this book. Another book I have not read, I've put it on numerous TBRs and just have not put any effort into reading it. I'm planning to do it soon though. My favorite edition is got to be the Hotter Collection one. Uh, it just looks really cool and I can't wait to read this book. Um, there you have Lone 2263. Next up is The Wind Through the Keyhole, which is the Dark Tower Book 8. They don't label it as Book 8, they just label it as a Dark Tower novel. My favorite edition is this new paperback one I just got. I think that looks really cool. There was the other edition I was going to get, which was like the Song of Susanna, where it attaches this one image, but they didn't have any. So I ended up getting this one instead, but it's still a pretty cool cover. Didn't like the book, but there you have The Wind Through the Keyhole. Next up is Joyland. I have two copies of this book, and it is another hard case crime. I have not read this book yet, 
Both of these covers are the exact same, but you can kind of see a girl like at a fair and she's kind of like freaking out about something. Uh, I'm not going to read this until later comes out because uh, I'm planning to do something with them together. But there you have Joyland. Next up is Dr. Sleep. I've got six copies of this book. I have read this one. I gave it, I think, four stars. Uh, it's the sequel to The Shining. My favorite cover is the one that kind of looks like a movie-ish tie-in where you have younger Danny from uh, the Stanley Kubrick film riding on the tricycle. And then you have older Dan, Danny, uh, in the hotel kind of walking around. Uh, I thought this was an interesting book. I enjoyed it. A lot of people don't like it, though, but I am someone who did. So there you have Dr. Sleep. Next up is the first book in the Bill Hodges trilogy, Mr. Mercedes. Uh, I've not read this one yet. Uh, I heard some mixed things about it. Some people really hated it, and then a lot of people enjoyed it, uh, which is typically what I hear. Um, but I like the hardcover edition of this thing with the umbrella and all the blood and everything. I do have the box set uh, over on the other shelf, which you'll see momentarily, uh, where it kind of gives you like the smiley face with all three books combined, which you'll see that in a minute. Um, but yeah, there you have uh, Mr. Mercedes. Next up is Revival. I have not read this book yet. I've got three copies of it. I heard it's kind of like this is Stephen King's take on Frankenstein, uh, where Salem's Lot was his book on vampires. This is his book on, like, Frankenstein. My favorite edition I have is going to be the original hardcover, a book I haven't read yet. I've heard good things about it. Uh, I do want to read it, so maybe this year. We'll see. There you have Revival. Next up is Finders Keepers, which is book two in the Bill Hodges trilogy. I have not read this one, but my favorite edition has got to be this hardcover one, where as opposed to an umbrella, all the blood is now on a book, uh, which I think that looks pretty cool. And again, I have the box set you'll see in a little bit, and there you have Finders Keepers. Next up is The Bizarre Bad Dreams. I've got four copies of this book. Uh, my favorite one is going to be this Hotter Collection one. It just is really colorful and it looks really cool looking. Have not read it. Want to soon. Probably doing it with another kind of short story battle between another book. I'm still deciding on it. But uh, there you have uh, The Bizarre Bad Dreams. Next up is End of Watch, which is the third book in the Bill Hodges trilogy. Obviously I can't read this one yet until I read the first two. Uh, but my favorite cover is the hardcover version of it where Finders Keepers had blood over like an umbrella and Mr. Mercedes had blood over a book. Swap that, vice versa. Mr. Mercedes had blood on the umbrella and Finders Keepers had blood in a book. This has got blood in like a huge lake. There's also some like dead fish swimming around. They're like holographic. Uh, I'm intrigued with this one. Not a lot of people like the, Hill, uh, the Bill Hodges trilogy. Hopefully I can, but we'll see. So I'm gonna show you these two books. Don't mind the rest of this stuff. When we do our library tour, I'll show you everything that's on here more in depth. Um, but I have two versions of Stephen King Goes to the Movies, and this is probably my favorite cover. Um, so what this is, is is a collection of books that were turned into movies. Shawshank Redemption, 1408, Children of the Corn, The Mangler, and Hearts in Atlantis. So really cool cover. Uh, the other one's actually pretty cool too. This is the hotter edition. So, yeah, pretty cool stuff. There you have Stephen King goes to the movies. Next up is Gwendy's Button Box. Uh, I've got two editions of these, and I gotta say my favorite has got to be the uh, hardcover one. He wrote this with Richard Chismar, um, and I thought this one was really good, and you'll hear what I gotta say about the next one in just a second. But this was a good book. I enjoyed it. Apparently it's supposed to be a trilogy, so... There's supposed to be a third Gwendy something, and King is supposed to be back in on the third one. So there you have Gwendy's Button Box. Next up is Gwendy's Magic Feather. I know you're saying this isn't by Stephen King. He was part of the first one, so I'm technically labeling this as one of his works. Even though he didn't write in it, my favorite edition is the hardcover. I did not like this book, because you can definitely tell the difference. Richard Chismar... Uh, only did this one, and you can tell the difference. I just didn't really enjoy it that much. So hopefully the third one, when King comes back, is going to be really good again. Um, but there you have Grundy's Magic Feather. Next up is Sleeping Beauties, uh, the book he wrote with his son, Owen. I'm going to show you the paperback because they're actually the same cover. I have not read this book. I've heard a lot of mixed things. I've heard some people get close to the end and stop. Some people just DNF'd it earlier on, and some people actually enjoyed the book. 
Um, I'm hoping I can enjoy it. I want to try and enjoy all of his works, but we'll see what happens. But uh, yeah, there you have uh, Sleeping Beauties. Next up is The Outsider. Uh, I have three copies of this, and my favorite is probably the one with the HBO logo on it. Um, just because it looks really cool. This was a show on HBO. Um, I did read this one as a reading vlog. I think I gave it four stars, four and a half. Again, check Goodreads. Goodreads is the key to all my ratings. So, um, But yeah, I thought it was a good book. Uh, and there you have uh, The Outsider. Next up is Elevation. This was a really, really short book. Um, really small. I'm actually surprised they call it a novel, to be honest. It felt more like a short story or a novella. But, again, I read this. I didn't much care for it. Um, there's just something that needed to be more explained to me. But, I, I again, I didn't like it. Some other people really enjoy it, but I just did not like Elevation. But there you have Elevation. Next up is The Institute. Uh, this is a book that I really need to read, and I have not yet. Uh, my favorite edition is this hardcover edition, the UK one. It looks really cool. I really can't wait to read this. A lot of people said it's a good book. It's a book that's been on my TBR for a year now, probably, and I just have not read it, and I've got no idea why. So maybe I'll read it this year. There you go with The Institute. And finally, we have If It Bleeds. Uh, this is the last fictional book I have of Stephen King's on the shelves over here. Uh, I have read this one. It is four short stories, which uh, all of them are actually okay. Uh, there was one I didn't like because it's told in like reverse order, where like it starts with the guy dying and then like getting younger and younger, kind of like Benjamin Button. But I just didn't like it. It didn't work for me. So uh, the cover is really cool. There you have if it bleeds. All right, guys. So here's the other side of the Stephen King shelves that you didn't see over there. Uh, I've got more editions, other copies, special things. These are mainly all non-fictional stuff. There are still some fictional stuff on this side, but it's a good chunk of it is like non-fiction. Um, as you can see in the top, I've got Secret Windows, On Writing, otherwise known as the Bible if you're a writer. Um, Dots Macabre, which I found that at half price books for like six bucks, where if you look on eBay, nothing's less than like 50. So that was a good find. Um, I've got some individual books that are in some short story collections here. Then I have Six Scary Stories, which he did, like, they are like, introduced by Stephen King, or he, like, edited them, or he edited them, or something like that. Uh, then I have Flight or Fright, which he edited, uh, with Bev Vincent. Um, I have not read that, but it does sound like an interesting collection. Um, I got three little... Sinyats, I have the Stephen King Quiz Book and Stephen King Quiz Book 2. Um, then I have some other little short story thing. I've got two editions of On Writing in hardcover and paperback. Um, two Downs Macabs, Faithful, which is a book with like the Boston Red Sox. He's a huge Boston Red Sox fan. Um, then I got a couple of other like Stephen King like companions and like the universe of Stephen King and stuff like that. Um, then I have Haunted Heart, which is another new book that I just recently found and got. It's like his life and stuff like that. Um, then I have The Stephen King Story, which is another kind of like biography written by somebody else. And then I have uh, another bibliography book, which has got like all of his stories in it, which was written by Justin Brooks. Uh, that's a pretty cool edition I have. Then over here I've got uh, the like case covers for The Green Mile. Desperation and the Regulators, and then here's the Bill Hodges trilogy one I was telling you about, which got like the smiley face on the outside. Uh, I've got Creep Show, which was the comic book he wrote. Uh, I think George A. Romero was also part of the book. I know they did the uh, movie Creep Show together, but I don't know if he had anything to do with the book. Over here, I've got like collab books where it's got some novels together as one Carry the Tommy Knockers, uh, Carry the Salem Slot, and The Shining. Uh, this one is The Shining, Sam's Lot, Night Shift, and Carrie. And then here's a really cool edition of The Stand, which actually came out last year, ironically with COVID. I thought that was kind of funny. Um, then I've got a book sleeve cover that my mother-in-law made me. Thank you, Mary Ellen. And on the opposite side of that is another one that she made me, which I think is pretty cool. In the middle here, I've got the Halloween Hotter editions. Uh, one came as a box set. 
The other three are sold separately, and I am missing one, and that's The Girl Who Loved Tom Gordon. And then on the bottom shelf, you can't see them, but they're different language Stephen Kings. I think it's German or French or something like that. I don't remember off the top of my head. They're like 50 cents at a half price book, so I figured what the hay. All right, guys, those are over 400 Stephen King books. That was a lot to do, a lot to show. Hope you guys enjoyed it as much as we loved filming it. Um, I do have other Stephen King decor that you can kind of see above me here. I'm not going to show you that yet. My wife and I are planning to do a library tour of the entire room. Like 70-60% of this is all Stephen King anyway. But we're going to show you my other stuff. This horror fiction, YA, there's a whole bunch of other stuff going on in this room. Um, which you kind of saw a glimpse of when we were filming on this side. Um, but yeah, otherwise this was a great time. Hope you guys enjoyed it. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, and we'll see you guys in the next video. Later.